Sleeping Beauty has an enormous amount of roles. Lots of solos, lots of pas de deux. Um, difficult, difficult ballet for a young company starting out. The first year was 1994, and given the fact that we needed an aurora to present that particular ballet, it's a very demanding role, very difficult role. At the time, we had um, a lovely dancer named Elizabeth Drucker who had just returned from New York City Ballet. What a beautiful, beautiful dancer, and what more perfect role for her than for her to dance Aurora. That um, difficult yet vulnerable, beautiful um, acting role that she was perfect to do. And uh, it was a great vehicle for her, and it was really helpful for us in being able to mount that ballet at that time. It seemed like a good vehicle for us to prepare dancers for a higher level of performance. One of the things about Sleeping Beauty is it's a beautiful classic ballet fairy tale. So done by really large companies and you know really when you are ready to be dancing Sleeping Beauty you kind of your company is pretty much come of age. Since 1994 we've done the ballet a few more times. Um, we had uh, the privilege of having Janet Davis of course as a principal dancer who was able to do Aurora very beautifully and just did it not too long ago. Uh, the key to Sleeping Beauty is first and foremost you have to have someone who can dance the demanding role of Aurora which is this, you know three acts for her very difficult ballet and also um, demanding of, of acting capability and uh, with with Janet's retirement semi-retirement um, it took us until now to find another Aurora and in fact we now have three Three wonderful, beautiful dancers that we have trained ourselves that are capable of dancing Aurora very, very nicely, very beautifully, and they will come out on the other side of this run as um, uh, ballerinas. We're excited to be able to do that this year. Homegrown dancers and, um, and three wonderful Auroras, and then many, many other soloists who are more than uh, capable of dancing these demanding roles. So we're excited. We have the boys, we have the women, we have the, um, we have the designer, we have the costumes, we have everything that we need. So we're excited to do that again this year.